All right, so one since my sandwich boards are so thin, and these threaded, these quarter-inch threaded taps, um, National Pipe threads, were a little bit skinnier than the test plug that I used. Um, they they protruded through too far. They have a nice ridge right here. It should go to there. So anyway, they protruded. They went through too far. So. I chucked them up in a 16-inch Jorgensen uh, wooden screw clamp, and then I chopped them off with a chop saw to shorten them up. So they're about an eighth of an inch shorter than they should be. Put four wraps of um, Teflon tape around them, thread them in. Just tighten them in by hand. You can get them pretty tight. Um, so these might seem pretty small to you, but I think they're going to work. Uh, we'll test them and see. I might have to go bigger. But this is quarter inch outside diameter, 7 30 seconds or something like that inside. Uh, this is going to be for the drain. That's a regular 3 8. So I'm going to use the existing drain. I'm going to have to test this in the truck because uh, I took down my workbench and uh, uh, everything's bolted to the truck. So here are the fill holes. Here are the vent holes for the gas. It's a little bit tight to get those. Um, clips down there. I'm going to have to use needle nose pliers. Alright, I guess the hardest part next will be putting in the thermocouple. I don't think I have the right fitting. Alright, um, I found some stuff that will work to put my put the thermocouple in. You can see the thermocouple would stick in way too far if I just threaded it in there and there's no hole to thread in. So I had tapped a quarter inch hole. What I should have done is tap that three eighths, three eighths national pipe thread, and then gotten a uh, three eighths to quarter inch reducer. And uh, threaded that in there and threaded this in, that probably would have been just about right. But this should work okay. It's going to be a little bit too far from the, um, the tip of the thermocouple is going to be an inch from the center, you know, from the plate. So it'll probably be a couple degrees uh, cooler than the actual temperature. But I'll be able to tell if it catches on fire. All right, so I just have to tighten that down. Uh, testing will begin tomorrow. All right, we ran into a problem here. Clearances are so tight, uh, it's real hard to work in this. I was checking to make sure there's no shorts. But I think you can see there that the cutout next to my tab is offset. Try to get in real close here. Starts to get a little fuzzy. Anyway, the terminal is going to short. I'll put the terminal on here, and you can see. Hopefully you can see that that terminal is going to touch one of the neutral plates. So I've got to take it apart and grind that out. All the other terminal connections are good. There's a couple other minor problems like this this bolt right here. The holes are cockeyed. I can I'm going to redrill that and make that right. Um, with something else. Oh yeah, some one of these plates they're uneven on the bottom here. <laughs> The sides and the top, the sides and the top are nice and even, but the bottom is uneven so it doesn't sit flat. And once I put brackets on, that won't make any difference. Back to the drawing board. All right, I've taken it apart and ground out the. Uh, it's still pretty darn close. I'm gonna have to grind it again. As you can see the connectors are clear now. That one's got plenty of room. Another thing, when I took it apart, I uh, checked to make sure my fittings were not protruding through and they're nice, uh, just a little bit less than flush. Uh, I did notice though that there were crumbs of plastic inside the cell. So I threaded those fittings in uh, after it was assembled. So it'd probably be better to thread your fittings in before it's assembled. So you can see if they protrude, and also you can clean up any crumbs. Alright, um, 
This is so close I couldn't use my other gauge because the probes were too big. Um, I hope you can see that. You can see when I short these out the gate needle goes up. I have it set to read ohms. So I'm going to test plate to plate to make sure there's no shorts. I don't expect there to be any shorts. I'm going to touch the same plate here and see if we get, see? Touching that plate, touch the next plate, I get nothing. It's hard to tell sometimes with that vinyl gasket what you're touching. Okay, we did, all the plates are good. No short, no shorts. I've got it tightened down, and uh, as soon as I hook up the hoses, it's ready to test.